It was Christmas Eve 2001. At the time, I still believed in Santa. I was 10 years old. But that very night, on Christmas Eve, I heard a noise on the roof. I was excited knowing it was Santa. I tiptoed downstairs and peeped through the door. That is where I saw his back. The back of him. I noticed he was eating the mince pie like an animal and drinking the milk ill-manneredly. I asked Santa. He turned around with his red, well-known suit. But he didn't have, but he didn't, he wasn't human. He had white, a white beard, but demonic features. He looked, looked with, he looked at me with those red glowing eyes and horns on his head. And it, he had two tusks and a, an evil, demonic, pale white face. And he had clawed fingers with white hair on his hands, with hooves for feet. He, th he then got his claw, uh, like, he then got a cl his claw, like hands, and raised his index finger and went, shh, then told me that little boys like me should be fast asleep and that he doesn't and doesn't leave any gifts for naughty boys and girls. At this point, I didn't care if it was if I was good or bad. I asked why he wasn't a sweet, friendly man. Everyone knew. Everyone knows him to be. He told he told me. Everyone knows him to be. He talks and legends change over time. But he told me that originally he was a demon that got caught by God. And as a punishment for spreading fear and pain and destruction every winter, he was condemned to spread Christmas joy and cheer and bring happiness for all eternity until God saw fit to let him go. I, I was then I was then jumped by my dad asking what I'm doing downstairs. I told him Father Christmas is here. My dad told me where my dad told me there was no one there that I was talking to thin air Santa then told me he can't see me no adult can as he told as he told me did I not mention that he then told me to go to bed like a good boy or he'll destroy my presence and I ran back upstairs with my dad telling me that Santa was not I ran telling my dad that Santa was a demon he told me I must have imagined it and tucked me in and kissed me on the head, telling me to go to sleep and that I got a big day tomorrow. I looked out of my window and saw him 
flying off into the night sky. What looked like demonic looking reindeers. I then got back into bed and got under the covers. On Christmas morning I opened all my presents and gifts that my mum and dad had got me. My dad then told me I have a gift from someone. I didn't ask who. It didn't say who. It was from... Well, I opened it and it was a letter that had wrote to be what... It was what I'd wanted for Christmas. Christmas list. This was a reply. Remember, I'm always... I am always waiting... I'm always waiting to be... I'm always waiting for you to be bad... to be bad. He told... He told me in the letter... Remember, boy, I am always... There. Be good... And I won't eat your soul. Next Christmas... I hope you like your gift. Ask your friend Santa. P.S. Not a word of our encounter to your friends and your family, or I will eat their souls. Then ending it with Ho, ho, ho. Ever since that night, I've not wanted Santa to come back. Ever. Thank you.